Uh, there we go. I can see. Hello, friends. Yokoso, and welcome to Resident Homo's Canuck Chronicles travel blog. Welcome. Shit's recording. Hi. Welcome to Ruby's first Canada blog. So let me tell you uh, a little something about the um, uh, recent trip I made. I got a very very special chance to go up north to Canada to visit a friend of mine, Edmund Pira, from uh, the Facebook page, Ruby Nation. I function as Admin Ruby on that page, and um, Pira and I have been friends for about two years now. And she offered me uh, a way up there and a place to stay for the week, so... And that was, that was something that was really cool to me. I hadn't actually traveled out of the country since I was a kid. And I had been to Korea twice, uh, South Korea. And when I got there, I, you know, I, I did my exchange, which I, I realized I should have done before I left, because I ate a lot of shit in the money exchange. It sucks really bad. I, I had the most important question I think I could have asked. The fuck is a Canada? The fuck is a Canada? It is a land of moose and geese. A, but it's about the age. Brought to you, you brought to you by the letter A. <laughs> a. <laughs> so immediately after that uh, interaction, we were we were driving out of the out of the uh, city. We were headed back to uh, where my friend lives, and um, you know, on the on the way back, there I was uh, just taking in the sights. I was looking around. I was seeing all sorts of different uh, places. Like I was seeing the A and W standing on its own. You know, it wasn't bound to like a KFC or a or a Pizza Hut or anything like that. There was, there was Pizza Seventy Three. There was uh, there was Petrol or uh, I forgot what um, what it was. I think it was, uh, there was a co-op. I think it was a, a gas station. Um, and of course, I I found out. And mind you, I heard about this once before, but um, I found out about uh, Tim Hortons, um, which uh, we'll get into in just a moment. There are U.S. branches out in. The East Coast, basically on the other side of the country. We don't really have that where I'm at. And so immediately after, uh, we, we stopped by to get gas. I found a, a Canadian quarter with uh, the uh, Olympics design on the back, but that was kind of cool, actually. Um, the snow was, uh, was dirty and, and all that. It's really weird, because I'm used to seeing snow be like pure white, but, you know. Great. I was wondering why it was so zoomed in. You know what? What's up? No, it's fine. Nani. <laughs> a moment later, I'd heard a couple of people from who are from up north talk about this before. One, one I remember one person who had visited some of my roommates when I was living in the apartments a while back had briefly mentioned it. So like I I had an understanding that it was everywhere, that everyone knew and talked about this this sort of thing and I was, I was pretty excited to check it out. Like, I knew it was a chain fast food restaurant, sure, but we we don't really have that here. Hey, Tim Hortons! Yes. Oh my god. That's a Tim Hortons. This is the legendary Tim Hortons that I've so, heard so much about. Oh uh, shit. My friend's friend, uh, Shailene, she's the one who was driving us. She asks, if, okay, do you want to? Do you want to just go through the drive through or do you want to like go in? And it's like, okay, I know we have to be back for too long because my friends live like three hours away from Calgary. And it's, it's a bit longer than even like the San Francisco trip for me. And uh, I was like, you know, I'm sorry, I, I know we have to get going. I just, I really, really want to check out the inside. Like, I got it. I got it. There was no way I was going to get on it. So I did. I went and took a look, and... Uh, yeah. Ooh, actually, yeah. Right? Yeah. 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 Man, this is a... This is a thing. Okay, I, I'm... Like since 1964, first one opened in Hamilton, Ontario, and it's now all across Canada. There's over 3,000 stores, I think. There's like 11 alone in Medicine Hat. So after that, I wound up, I wound up just getting like breakfast sandwich and the uh, 
double double, I guess, which is like two cream, two sugar on a coffee. And apparently that's like the most popular order there. And I'd done a little bit of research right before uh, landing. I was like, okay, what, what do people order when they go to, to Tim Hortons? And it was like, okay, uh, I guess the double double's the popular thing. I'll just get that. I'll try that. And, you know, I'll see where that goes because that's, if that's what the locals are having, then, you know, it's what I gotta try. And I did actually like it. I liked it better than a lot of the coffee that, you know, I get where I work. And, and I did find out about um, some other drinks later that I wound up liking more than that. But I'll talk about that in, in another episode. I also found out about uh, a bunch of uh, little donut holes that they call Timbits, which were actually quite tasty. Um, for the record, I don't really eat a whole lot of donuts or, or cakes or any sort of pastries like that. I, I get I get issues uh, when when consuming a lot of dry, sugary dough and bread and all that. And um, I've never I've never really liked cake or donuts or anything like that growing up which is like a huge staple here in the United States. But the, whatever they do to their to their donut holes, I think they, I heard my friends say that they make them with like egg whites or something. Uh, it lifts it up, it makes it retain moisture, it makes it fluffy and it makes it soft. And those were the first donuts that I have ever had in my life that I actually really liked. That I liked enough that I could go back for more. That I liked enough that I could buy a 10 pack and that I would eat and not have issues like that, that was a that was astounding to me. I could actually like donuts. I could actually like coffee. So you know, prop, props to you uh, up there. Uh, you guys, you guys really know your stuff. So thank you for joining in on the Canuck Chronicle. I've got a couple more episodes going on. I just wanted to put episode one out there. It's been a little bit since I came home, but um, I've just been caught up in so much stuff. So. I want to make sure you guys know I am trying to actually process all this and get it out so you guys can, can you know, follow me and know that I'm not just kind of sitting on my thumbs and doing nothing. <laughs> Anywho, um, thank you for checking out the uh, Canuck Chronicle episode one. More episodes to follow. This is Resident Homo here, also known as uh, Ruby of Ruby Nation. Um, also known as Twin Blade K on, on some gaming uh, circles you might know me for. Signing off. Someone say that we're better. It's just that we're less worse.